Well, it's, it's it's a marvelous development actually. I mean, after opening our doors in 2015, and we know these things take time, but it's starting to really come through now. We have 75 students graduating tomorrow. Uh, we'll, ha we'll actually have 56 of them here in person. They're actually bringing their families, their friends, and the vast majority of them are international students from places as far apart as America and India, and they're actually graduating all with us tomorrow. So very proud. Interesting subjects, and I see that marine science and climate change uh, seems to be one of the popular ones. It's incredibly popular. That seems to have really uh, uh, hit the nerve, so to speak, which is a very topical issue in the world we have today. And that's the main one that's bringing particularly a lot of international students. But we've also got a Bachelor's in Business Administration and Master's in Business, business Administration. There's also an Executive MBA and a Master's in uh, um, Management and, and Leadership. Uh, and we also have our postgraduate certificate of education, which is also uh, graduating a whole cohort of new teachers. Last but not least, we also have three doctoral students graduating tomorrow who have been carrying out research and, and um, uh, they've published their theses, passed them, and they'll be also new doctors for the university. And in terms of the university putting Gibraltar on the map, Gibraltar putting the university on the map, how attractive is it proving to international students? This is one of the things that um, we're actually starting to be quite successful at. You mentioned the, the, the Masters in Marine Science and Climate Change. But, uh, currently we have over 20 students. Every single one of them is international. They've come from all over the world. And Gibraltar is fast starting to become a center of excellence in that particular area and people are coming here to study. We also have similar things happening with the center of excellence in responsible gaming, for example. These are niche areas where we can do very well and have an international profile.